I'm ready. Okay, in keeping with our uh, procedures of planing every joint prior to gluing up, we're going to give this a little skim with, the, with our nice plane here. We don't want to take a lot, we just want to give it a little bit of a kiss. Just like that. That's all we need to do. Next minute. This one needs a little bit more. And that's good. Okay. If you clamp this in your vise, make sure you got the you got it situated so that it's coming out to the front, because if you have something in here you can inadvertently jam that into something <laughs> under your table and uh, break it or ding it pretty good. Okay, just one or two swipes is all we need. There's one. Let's put it in there and see what we got. It certainly does seem to be a gap at the top, doesn't it? Yeah. And I think it's right here. You see that? Let me mark where this gap is. Okay. So we line this one up. This this side. My side is good. <laughs> 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 I don't know why your side's messed up. That's pretty clean right there, except we still see it. So I'm waiting to start cutting on that low spot. As soon as I start cutting on that low spot, I know I'm going to be almost there. Pour some denture tooth and hollow it out. Okay, we built a little bit of a coating of wax up on the bottom by uh, doing it like you would a candle. We dip it and then pull it out. We do that maybe twice is all. You don't want a big uh, glob of wax on it, but you want enough to uh, uh, give you some nice lubrication. And we'll do the top again maybe. Okay. And this is important <laughs> because it's uh, easy to get this wrong. Okay, so here you see your pattern going up and going down, right? Everything looks good. So that's the way you're going to put them in, in the seat. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to blow the dust out of, this, out of the back brace holes. So you take it and you start it in and you push like this and you push it forward, wiggle it, pull it back, wiggle it. That's to get the wax out of the way of the action of the back brace. You want the wax in the hole but you don't want it to interfere with your movement. Put it in, move the back brace forward, wiggle it, move it back, wiggle it and you'll feel that wax moving out of the way. <clears throat> 
you want to do this when the wax is still warm. Don't let the wax get hard and cold and try and do this because this, this won't work as well. So now what you want to do is double check your pattern, make sure that your pattern is still good. Now if you've done everything properly, uh, putting the headrest on is an easy job <laughs> because we've precisely cut these to exactly the correct length because if we start on one end we can go right the way to the other. So here we go. And if one of these seems suddenly too long or way too short, you likely have your back braces in wrong. You see how we were able to go right, right down the pike and get them all in? Now what I do with the, and again, look at how much back movement you have possible with these back braces. You'll never have a problem breaking one of these back braces by setting it. So then we go forward, make sure everything fits. We're down about an eighth of an inch here, down about a eighth of an inch here, that means we've got an eighth of an inch of space between the tops of the headrest, back braces and the headrest, and that's fine. So we release it, make sure you don't uh, tear that right there. Now we're ready for glue. But the first thing we want to do is uh, blow out our headrest holes. for some glue. Okay, so we're going to put glue on the left back leg. And okay, then we're going to go around and put glue on the right back leg. You got four surfaces. To and I'm going to put the blue on the right side of the headrest. So you start. One screw if you can to get it to just hold it in place. Okay. And you run the screw in just so the head is even with the outside of the hole. You don't want to, you don't want any pressure on the joint yet. Yeah. 